which is the list of the United States presidents assassinated and the attempts that were actually done on them. And uh, it goes through all of them. Turn the music off. Always a done by Democrats. Andrew Jackson, 1835, survived. Abraham Lincoln, 1865, not survived. Republican. Uh, Garfield, 1881, not survived. Um, William McKinley, 1901, not survived. Shot by a communist. Uh, Theodore Roosevelt, 1912, survived, Republican. Uh, John F. Kennedy, 63, not survived, obviously. Shot by a communist. Ronald Reagan, 1981, survived. And Donald Trump, 24, there's survived. Actually, there's, there's actually about another 10. There's another 10? Yeah, if you go to Wikipedia, they've got a whole page. You're joking. Yeah. Gerald Ford was shot at twice in 1975. I didn't even know that till the last week. You're joking. Yeah. That's insane. It's yeah. like this is baked into the American... Um, you know, psyche and what they do and... Um, I, well, look, the truth is there hasn't been... No one's taken a shot at the president since 1981. Mm. So the secret... I think a, a part of last weekend, that's 42 years. Mm. I think that there was a feeling where, um, you know, it had been so long that their guard was down mm. to some extent. They were thinking... And they were thinking, look, these Trump rallies are always fun and friendly, happy atmosphere. Mm. Um, so I think, you know... Now, they'll, for the next 10 years, they'll be on mega alert. Yeah. And this is one of the reasons why the security was so lax on the day that JFK died, because it had then been, it had been 40 years since, um, uh, you just mentioned him, Theodore Roosevelt was shot at. Mm. Uh, so because, given a long, long space of time, people just sort of put that... They, the Secret Service would have just been doing their job, saying, oh, we've done this a million times, nothing ever happens. And then when something happens, it's a big shock. So, suppo Ooh. so supposedly... Sorry, just some facts. Um, the, so supposedly... Um, uh, What's her name? Jill Biden. She was actually in a similar in a nearby area. Yes, and she was actually apparently. draining a lot of the Secret Service. Well, resources. yeah, they tried to claim it didn't affect um, the Secret Service at all, but naturally <laughs> they're, spl they're splitting their force. But on your point, Mark, um, John, yes, I understand your point about being lax. There hasn't hadn't been a legitimate assassination attempt in that time. But once they saw something. <laughs> It, it should have changed on the spot. Like, I understand, yeah, you're relaxed, you know, you're not expecting something, but as soon as something untoward starts happening, mm. wheels should be going into motion, and they didn't. They, they really well, didn't. And then that's... An, well, the and, Secret and, Service... And that lax really doesn't explain that. Mm. Well, except for the DEI hires, mm. which is appalling, mm. I thought the Secret Service did a pretty good job on the moment. Yeah, within about two seconds after the shot, someone said, Trump, uh, they said, down, down. Trump goes down, they jump on top of him. I thought the guys in the immediate presence did a pretty good job, except for the DEI oh, hire. Look, I agree uh, on, on that point, but th those shots should never have got off. Oh, well, of course, let, let, yes. Let's be honest. Of like, course. It's, a, it's, it's appalling. Some, a lunatic had been lurking around for an hour. Mm. They'd or he was on their radar... And he gets within 150 meet, uh, yards of Trump. It's just unbelievable. I mean, I, I, let's I point out that the shooter that... Sh uh, sorry, the, the Secret Service that shot the shooter was on a slope roof shooting towards <laughs> another slope roof. <laughs> so this, it is this, possible. This is the thing. I mean, an actual conspiracy is not implausible. There's a difference between something being plausible and something being very probable or obviously the case. And, and, and right now, I'm at, a, I, I'm at sort of the... This was, this was something that a lot of people wanted to happen and the conditions were set in place so that eventually it would make it quite likely that it would happen. But you can't rule out an actual conspiracy given what we know was taking place in the hour leading up to that event. You take a very confident person and say, oh, there's no possible conspiracy well, at all. And then we should also differentiate 